Okay. Being recorded? Okay, good. Please be bear with me. I'm trying to move for uh, North Fork tonight. I need a lot of patience, a lot of patience please. Uh, open the meeting. Uh, I need a sec. A, a Moving or a seconder to open the meeting, please. John? John and Belinda? Okay. <clears throat> be it resolved that we do call this regular meeting of council to order on Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020 at 6 p.m. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Uh, uh, review and note any agenda, uh, changes to agenda. So we do have a, a change to the agenda uh, due to the uh, unexpected absence of the treasurer at this meeting. Uh, the budget's not going to be presented tonight and it will be done at a later time. Okay, uh, now would be the time that the declaration of any pecuniary interest. Oh, sorry. Uh, I need a move or a seconder for the uh, approval of the uh, amended agenda. I'll move it, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Is it Belinda? I can't see Belinda. Yeah. Hey. Right. Be it resolved that the council does hereby approve the agenda as amended. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Okay. Um, now, uh, you can uh, declare any pecuniary interest or general nature thereof, the declaration of conflict of interest uh, now or any time throughout the meeting. Uh, adoption of minutes. Can I get a move or mover, a seconder of the adoption of the regular of the minutes of last meeting? Okay. Belinda is uh, moved. Okay. Second. Thank you. Be it resolved that the council of the corporation of the township of Hornpain does hereby adopt the minutes of the regular meeting of council held on Wednesday, May 20th, 2020 as distributed. All in favor? Any opposed? Carry. Uh, can I get a movementer and a seconder of the I guess it's adoption of the minutes of the, our special meeting that we had uh, on May 27th. I'll move it. John, okay. And there's a blend, okay. Hey, Belinda, could you uh, just say your name? I second it, or I can't see on the screen. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Township of Hornpain does hereby adopt the minutes of the special meeting of, of Council held on Wednesday, May 27, 2020, as distributed. All in favor? Any opposed? Carry. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's business arising from the minutes. Uh, I guess there is none, right? Well, I... <laughs> now I'll shut my mic. I put the uh, resolution to do the work at the arena for the fitness uh, center under business arising from the minutes. So that came out of the special meeting. Thank you. I move it, Mr. Chair. I'll second it, Pete. We can't hear you, Pete. Your mic's off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
we'll try this again. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Township of Horn and Payne does hereby authorize Gail Jeremy, CAO clerk, to hire an engineering firm to complete detailed design plans and to issue a request for proposals for the completion of repairs and reinforcement of the upper floor of the arena with the intention of reinstating uh, reinstating it for the use as uh, a fitness facility. Be it further resolved that once these renovations are complete and the arena and the area has been deemed safe, the fitness facility will be relocated from the curling club club room to this space with the goal of finding a more suitable long-term solution in the future. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. <clears throat> okay, uh, so this one here, the, the uh, draft budget summary, we're skipping right by that now? Yeah. That's the third, so we're going right to number eight. Yes. yes. So there's no petitions, no disbursements. Okay, so the manager's okay. reports. So, manager's reports uh, so I got, so... Uh, can I have a mover, mover and a seconder to accept the manager's reports, please? Okay, John's moving it. Okay, a seconder. Thank you, Blender. Be it resolved that upon... Re no, this is... Uh, this isn't the manager's report, is it? Yeah, because I went right from uh, where am I now? So under manager's reports is my report, and there's my report on departmental. Okay, it wasn't even in this one, uh, Gil. I got uh, recommendations complete service delivery review. That's the departmental. Okay, so I'll just read this out then, okay. Whereas, whereas one of the recommendations in recently completed ser uh, service delivery review, SP-03, was for staff to develop annual develop, uh, departmental work plans to ensure a strategic direction is maintained and whereas the department work plans are to be provided to council and hereby attached. Therefore, be it resolved that the council of the corporation of the township of Arnpain hereby receives and approves the attached plans provided by staff for the year 2020. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Was there any questions on Gail's report? Uh, Mr. Chair, do you have a couple of questions, please? Okay. Thank you, through you to Gail. When you get the information on the training program for council and staff regarding COVID-19, can you send me all the information, please? I will. I don't have it yet, Drago, but as soon as they forward it, I certainly will. As soon as I see a test on it, I get excited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's great. I thank you for that. And um, the other final comment was, uh, you mentioned collective bargaining. Uh, did it start yet, Gail? Please. That actually, we did exchange proposals uh, yesterday, but we've pushed that off considering the circumstances right now until the 25th of June. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, was there any questions on uh, Dwayne's report, public works manager? Uh, John, go ahead. I have one, Tara. Uh, through you, I'd like to ask Dwayne if, uh, if there's any uh, possibility of getting the uh, soccer field cut, grass cut, or is that uh, not going to happen this year? No, it will be cut. It will be cut. Thank you. Any other questions? I do, uh, Mr. Chair. Okay, this uh, one is. Uh, uh, can I get a move in or a seconder for uh, to accept the uh, public works manager's report? 
I'll move it. Thank you. Seconder. I can second okay. it. Thank you, John. <clears throat> Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the public works manager and with concurrence of the chief administration officer, administrative officer, the council does hereby declare the public works administration office trailer as surplus and that it be put up for public tender in accordance with the applicable applicable municipal bylaws with a reserved bid amount to be determined by the CEO upon three comparators. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Okay, that was CEO's done. I have a couple of questions, Mr. Chair, through you to the Dwayne, please. Go ahead, Drago, Councillor Stefanik, sorry. Thank you. Hi, Dwayne. Um, <coughs> so recommendation, uh, I need a solid recommendation if you want to have a new building, or I, I, I read your recommendations thoroughly, but I'd like to have a firm grasp. Do you want to have a building? What size of the building uh, in the future, please? Uh, also, I respectfully suggest if you could have a temporary office, my humble opinion, would be at the arena for now. There's no activities happening. You're a center of town, easier accessible. Uh, previous history indicated that uh, uh, people were not happy with the individual being in office at the airport. Thank you. That's recommendation. I need an office big enough that I can have uh, room for myself and also someplace I can have meetings with the guys to uh, have uh, monthly safety meetings, stuff like that. I definitely need some room. The upstairs will be fine because it's safe to walk. Uh, it, I mean, it's only a few pounds versus the thousands we had with the weight. So, uh, and it's uh, secluded. It's out of the way. You get a confidential meetings, and I think the most appropriate. Thank you. I agree. It's a fine spot. Is there any other questions for uh, public works manager? Okay. Can I get a mover and a seconder to uh, accept all the uh, manager managers' reports, please? Uh, I'll move it. Move it, Linda, okay. Looking for a seconder? Okay, John, thank you. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Township of Hornpain does hereby acknowledge receipt of the public manager's Reports provided at the regular meeting of council held on June 3rd, 2020. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Okay. Uh, may I get a mover, mover and a seconder for the FCM uh, Sustainable Affordable Housing Planning Grant. I will move it, Mr. Chair. I'll second it. Thank you, Belinda. <clears throat> Whereas sustainable, affordable housing has been identified as a need in recently completed housing needs and demand study and Whereas council is committed to finding some long-term sustainable solutions to close the gaps in the housing continuum by diversifying housing stock and creating more affordable housing options to residents over time. And whereas the Federation of the Canadian Municipalities, FCM is the acronym for that, uh, has opened a granting program to assist with sustainability, sustainable, affordable housing. Therefore, be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Township of Horn Payne hereby authorizes CAO clerk to apply FCM sustainability, affordability housing planning program to further the municipality's effort to address housing gaps in our community. Be it further resolved that the Township of Horn Payne commits $6,250 of the municipal funds towards the total cost of this initiative. Okay, Gil, would I speak to this please first? I just want to say that um, we've been working with ARDN, the company that we originally put the expression of interest in for the affordable housing um, project. 
and we've got some really good information from them and they're actually going to do up most of the application for us so that'll be really helpful because they've got the terminology and they know the business um, so that's uh, I think really a good thing for us and it's coming at a good time and it's 80% funded so that's pretty good Your mic, chair. Your mic. <laughs> All in favor? I have a question for Gail. Oh, go ahead. Before he, uh, I, I just through you, chair, uh, to Gail. I'm just wondering, um, what is the grant going to be used for again, and how much uh, of what are the expenses? The grant amount is up to twenty-five thousand. Our share would be 6250, and it's going to be for to finding gaps in our um, housing and the first stages of the planning to to fix those problems. There's there's probably um, six or seven levels of this funding, and this is the first step. So you can apply for other stages as well. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for the CEO? Okay, so all in favor? Uh, any opposed? Carry. Okay. Uh, I would like a mover and a seconder for the uh, uh, municipal asset management program. Belinda. Drago. Okay, Drago and John. Thank you. Whereas asset management is a key component in providing efficient and cost-effective services to the ratepayers of Horn Payne, as well as a sensible long-term planning tool for the for the municipality. And whereas the province of Ontario has mandated asset management planning through Ontario Regulation 588-17. And whereas the Federation of Canadian Municipalities has incurred a second round of funding for asset management. Therefore, be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Township of Hornpain hereby authorizes the CAO clerk to apply to FCM's Municipal Asset Management Program to help identify asset management needs, uh, provide, going, provide ongoing updates to the existing plan, fund asset condition as assessments and generally work towards improving tools and skills related to asset management. Be it, be it further resolved that the Township of Warren Payne commits $5,555 of municipal funds towards the total cost of this initiative. There any questions? Oh, uh, CEO, Clerk, Gail, Jeremy would like to speak to so we um, had FCM funding for our first uh, update to our plan. That contract runs out at the end of July. So we would be applying after that time. And these funds could be used towards uh, road condition assessment or any asset condition assessment, but we're thinking roads, um, water and wastewater infrastructure, if possible. However, I think that's going to be more than the grant will allow. Um, we will get help with this application from Cindy Godson, who is from Wawa, and she helps us out with her our asset management stuff. And um, this grant's up to fifty thousand dollars, and it's ninety percent funded. Is there any questions for Gail? Uh, all in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Okay. Course, correspondence only. 
Is there any questions on the correspondence information only? Okay. Uh, the next council of resolution, Gail, is that the twelve point three I'm looking at? Next is going to be the uh, uh, conferences, seminars. Yep. Thank you. Donations being none. Um, okay, conferences, seminars. So there's no uh, resolution. It was just to see what delegations council's interested in um, pursuing. Okay. This one here, I got the cooperation of Okay, okay so uh, I kind of a mover, mover and seconder, please, for the uh, conferences, seminars, and training. Well, sorry, you know what? You do have one for information only. That's yeah. what I thought. Well, that's what I was looking at. Okay, so may I have a mover and seconder, please? I'll move. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. John Drake, okay. John Drake, okay, John, thank you. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Township of Horn Payne does hereby acknowledge receipt of the correspondence information only package with the agenda at the regular meeting of Council held on Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. All in favor? All in favor? Any opposed? Any opposed? Carried. Carried. Okay, we're doing that. Committee reports. Uh, committee reports. So, committee reports. There is no right. Are you going to talk about the delegations? If anyone has any input. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Does anybody have any input about the uh, delegations going forward? I do, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Go ahead Council Stefanik. Through you to Gail, as I mentioned the last meeting, I would meet maybe Minister of Infrastructure referring to a roads. A water delivery systems uh, also the entire project to see what's happening at the arena at what stage is that uh, grant I mean general information um, but the key would be infrastructure roads water and sewer and possibly some discussion of the waste disposal site uh, if there any grants in the future as we'll be moving as we discussed at second last meeting thank you <clears throat> is there any more questions or discussion on this topic? Okay. John. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Sir. Councillor Perro. For you, um, can you or Gail uh, refresh my mind on the delegations that we had? Uh, We've had before, I emailed them all to you a couple of weeks ago. There was uh, infrastructure, environment, energy. Um, let me see if I have it. I don't think I have it in this email. Um, so it was about grants. It was municipal affairs. It was about uh, our service delivery and how we were looking to be a sort of a poster child for them. Um Drago, you probably remember better than I do. Covered everything except uh, I think the last one was housing as well. We're looking at okay. the housing issue, but you covered everything, Gail. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Would there be any more questions on this topic? Okay. Uh, so we're going uh, no, uh, the resolutions new other business so would be new and other business so look at so i don't have to there's nothing to read on that is there i, okay. I can just give you a quick update on the COVID 19 and please so um we continue to have our weekly community control group meetings um we had our last one today um there's still 65 cases in, uh, uh, sorry, in the Porcupine region. One active at the moment. So I think it's been, I didn't actually look at how many days it's been, but it must be 19 or 20 days uh, 
since the new it's case? May 10th, yeah. May 10th. It's okay, May 10th. Thank you. So that's good. Um, the provinces extended the state of emergency till June 30th. Um, they say they're now considering maybe some regional reopening strategies. I did ask today at our meeting about uh, guidance with uh, beaches, seeing as we have Cedar Point and there is nothing out there right now, particularly for beaches other than the physical distancing. So I think we may see something with that, with the, with the temperatures heating up. I also asked about uh, fireworks um, because as you saw in my report, we'd like to do that as long as it can be in a controlled manner. The OPP indicated that we would likely see something from the province on that in the next couple of weeks, um, ruling on that. So we'll see what happens, but we needed to order if we are going to have them. So if we can't use them July 1st, we'll just do it at another time of year. Um, but we thought it would be a good sort of a morale booster. Um, I, I can't think of anything else. Um, the hospital's well prepared, they're well stocked. Um, the testing um, has picked up a little bit since the um, province issued the announcement that if you're asymptomatic, you can get testing. The hospital and the health unit combined put out a, a mail out. Um, I think it was combined anyways, they put out a mail out um, encouraging people to get tested if they feel like they've been, may have been exposed. Um, Drago, did I miss anything? Or Stacy, you attend those meetings, Dwayne? Um, through you, Chair, if you could uh, uh, discuss the letter from the mayor report that we received regarding the bedding as well. And uh, just a footnote, Mr. Chair, Gail did an excellent job as a chair of the uh, um, Thank you. <laughs> I had my mic off again. Council committee updates. Uh, we'll start with you, Drago. <laughs> I'll be real quick. Um, there was a question brought up uh, at uh, second last CCG meeting regarding the turnaround for testing for COVID-19 from Horn Payne. This is the response I received. We had a PHU health board meeting last week through Dr. Catton. Number one, the health units do not have any authority to speed up the testing. Number two, the test return time is between three and five days or four to six days. Depends how close you are to testing facility. Makes sense. And also on the Dr. Catton's comment, the First frontline staffers, first responders to get a first priority when they get tested. That's a fact. Um, number two, the budget 2020. Uh, excellent work by Melissa administration. Uh, she, she put tremendous amount of time in that. I, I, I spent about 15 hours on it. Uh, I would really respect that all the members of council are ready to debate it uh, next week fully. On, I have all my questions, um, comments, so we could have a real lively debate on that issue. And uh, it is worth repeating, just to remind everybody gently and kindly, 2025, we will have to be fully accessible. At the Arena Current Club, you have to do some finer tweaks, minor tweaks, very minor. Again, municipal office, I want everybody to keep that in mind, 2025, fully accessible. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Stefanik. John? Yeah, I don't have anything to report uh, this week. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Kistemaker, Blinda? I don't have anything to report this week either. Thank you. Uh, as with myself, I don't have anything to report. Uh, being the pandemic, there hasn't been any hospital board meetings or anything, so it's been pretty quiet. And, but I will just for a note of interest, uh, Councillor Stefanik, I like you keep bringing up 2025, keep keep the fire under our feet. So we that will always go forward and we will uh, not leave that. We will 
be proactive rather than reactive. And I appreciate your uh, your attitude towards that whole situation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I would like a mover and a seconder to adopt the uh, water and sewer rates, please. I'll move it. Thank you. Thank you. To Belinda. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Be it resolved that bylaw number 1795 being a bylaw to set water and sewer rates for the municipality for the year 2020 be passed. Be, so, pardon me. The year 2020 be hereby read a first and second time and be considered read a third time and finally passed. Is there any uh, questions or comments on this, uh, on the new rates and bylaw? Okay, now all in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Uh, motionless. Okay. Uh, can I get a mover, mover and a seconder for uh, what's this called? The confirmatory. I'll go. Okay. A seconder. Thank you, John. Be it resolved that bylaw number 1796 being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of council at their regular meeting on Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020, be hereby read a first and second time and be considered read a third time and finally passed. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Okay. I would like uh, wow. mover, mover and secretary to adjourn the meeting. You're a pro. I do. <laughs> Good job, Chair. Can I get, Can I get a gold star? <laughs> okay. uh, so who's the mover? Is Drago? Yeah, please. Good job. Okay, thank you. Uh, Seconder. Linda. Thank you. Be resolved, Be resolved that we do adjourn this regular meeting of council held on Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020 at 6.33 p.m. Whoa. All in favor? Wow. That's uh, right. Past this one yet. Gail. Yeah. Whoa. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Pardon me? I said, whoa. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good, job, good stuff. Peter. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a well, have everybody a nice have evening. A good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.